Hello, myself Rajini Suresh, Sanjay Gandhi Polytechnic College, Mumbai Department. In this session, let's know the subject iron making. Very first, what is iron making? Iron making, it is the process of production of iron. Where we are going to reduce iron oxide to iron in the presence of reducing agent. So the process is known as iron making. So in this subject, let's know the first chapter, modern, second chapter, modern blast furnace plant and process. It is the second unit in this subject belongs to third semester metallurgy. So very first introduction. The blast furnace is a huge steel stack line with refractory brick around 30 meter height. Hot air blast is injected through the two years. Very first the iron is produced, especially pig iron is produced by blast furnace process. So let's know about blast furnace. So the blast furnace is huge steel stack lined with refractive bricks. The height of the blast furnace it is around 30 meters and which is having water cooling facilities. It is a welded steel plate construction which is having water cooling facilities and meter together thickness of about the refractory lining and air is injected. That air is to be preheated around 1200 to 1300 degrees Celsius and injected into the blast furnace under pressure through the two years as an oxidizing, which acts as an oxidizing agent. So which will helps to burn the coke present in the blast furnace in the raw material. The coke burns which will produce carbon monoxide and with the help of carbon monoxide iron oxide is released to iron in the stack zone and in the post zone the iron reacts directly with the coke and burns and to produce pig iron and the other product of blast furnace that is slag, molten metal and molten oxide. The gaseous products are exhaust gases which contains carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, hydrogen and nitrogen. So here in this picture you can see the you can see the uh, setup schematic setup of a blast furnace of a blast furnace. Here this is the blast furnace proper and gas cleaning system. These are the stoves and here charge hoisting appliances and uh, uh, iron ore and limestone and coke has to be stored in the, in the bins and the uh, charging has been shown in the form of skip hoist but in the present days the charge particles has been charged and moved to the blast furnace top with the help of conveyor beds. Here in this picture you can find out the industrial setup, industry picture. How does the blast from the seams from the far distance? There are four blast furnaces and you can find out these are the downcomers. And this is the uptakes, uptakes and these are the downcomers. So you can find out this industrial setup of blast furnace. There are four blast furnaces. Next let's see the purpose of blast furnace it is to reduce and to convert iron oxide into liquid iron called as hot metal that is pig iron the blast furnace it is used to produce pig iron how by reducing iron oxide to iron here iron oxide means iron o fe 2 o3 that is hematite o you can take out any or which is rich in iron percentage that might be hematite ore, that might be magnetite ore, 
which is available easily. So hepatite O, Fe2O3, which is reduced to Fe, the product what we will get that is called as pig iron. It is also known as technical word, hot metal or molten metal. And the another liquid product of plus minus that is molten oxide, that is slag. Okay. Next. Here you can see the picture, schematic diagram of blast furnace. It is schematic diagram of blast furnace. The line diagram you can find out. Okay. Here you can find the blast furnace proper. This is the gas cleaning system. Here we have shown only one stove, but yeah, usually, actually, in the industry, there are four stoves. Two are on gas, two are on blast. There are four stoves. Two, the industry will be the same stove. Yerudu, on gas, and three, yerudu, on blast. And three. On gas, and three, blast, and then the barun, the gases, and nine. Use mark on the two, kondu, urudu, checker, brick for connecting part. Other than now, on gas, and three. The stoves which are using the carbon monoxide gas from the blast furnace and which is getting heated themselves is known as on gas. The two stoves are already heated and those preheated stoves are preheating the blast of air from the turbo blow and sent through the bustle pipe through the two years into the blast furnace. That is called as on blast. And here you can find out the skip hoisting. Skip hoisting facilities given, but it is an old fashioned. There are uh, different methods for there to, in, to charge the raw materials into the blast furnace. Bucket hoist, skip hoist. Now, today's days, the familiar charge hoisting appliances that is conveyor belt hoist. And here you can find out the setup raw material. There are different types, different things which contains the raw material, oak iron ore and limestone, which are mixed together and sent to the uptakes, uh, sorry, cup and cone arrangement, from where the charged material is to be introduced into the blast furnace. Okay, and this is the downcome. The exhaust gases coming out from the blast furnace, which is directly enters into the dust catcher, where in the dust catcher, coarse cleaning of the gases takes place. This is the gas cleaning unit. The exhaust gases cannot lead to the environment which will lead the hazards of health and environmental pollution may take place. So that's why that exhaust gases contains carbon monoxide also that can be used, that gas can be used as a fuel so that gas is to be collected in the closed system without leading to the environment and which can be cleaned in the gas cleaning system. Here you can find dust catcher, scrubber and ESP. In the dust catcher, Coarse cleaning of the gas takes place. Coarse cleaned gas, next move to the scrubber, wet scrubber. Here, here, semi-fine cleaning of the gas takes place. Semi-fine cleaned gas next moves to the ESP, electrostatic precipitator. The semi-fine cleaning are the dust catcher, the scrubber, the sketcher, the coarse cleaning are the scrubber, the semi-fine cleaning are the ESP, the fine cleaning are the fine cleaning are the clean are the gas. 25% of the gas is used for the stove burning and 75% of the gas is sent to the gas holders. Gas holders. 25% of the gas in the one the stove in the one the use the one use the one of the one gas the one with the one gas can be used the one with the one with the one as the one with the one and to one the furnaces. So elsewhere in the industries. So this is about the schematic diagram of the blast furnace. This is only the line diagram. Frankly, the line diagram. But actually, the, the units will be there, but can be assembled in different fashion in the industries. Okay. Modern blast furnace. Here, you can find out different temperature zones into the blast furnace. And this is, these are the uptakes. And from here, we are going to charge the raw materials from the revolving tube in today's fashion. But in the olden days, there was a facility cup and cone arrangement, okay? Then here you will find the at the stack zone side, 200 to 300 degrees Celsius. And here in the stack line downside, uh, there you can find 900 to 93 degrees Celsius. Then here in the stack zone, in this zone, iron oxide is reduced to iron, 
and the solid state around 25% of the iron oxide is reduced to iron in this point of state. Next, when the uh, raw material comes down, the temperature increases here. How many? The pre type blast of air is injected through the tuyos when the coke burns in front of the tuyo, which will produce us heat, which generates heat. That heat temperature will be more here in the tuyo zone and in the Bosch zone. Above that, the exhaust gases will move upward direction, so the temperature is somewhat less here. So you can find the temperature increases gradually when it the, when we come down in a uh, till to the two years. So here you will find exhaust gases, dust and gases are coming out here. The charge has the charging unit, stack line, iron ore plugs and coke uh, layer by layer may have been charged here. Here the softening zone has to be occurred. That is called as cohesive zone. Means iron oxide is reduced to iron at a solid state. Solid state alle, spongy state alle. Iron oxide, you know, iron agi convert agi tundra. Iron, 25% uh, of iron has to be reduced. So, the cohesive zone of the week, fluid, uh, fluid zone and trace phase. In front of the two years, you will find runways and race phase. Very first, the preheated blast of air coming out from the stoves, which will enter into the uh, two years. And first, it will, it takes the uh, horizontal direction, then vertical direction. To facilitate this direction of the blast of A introduced into the blast furnace, that will find the runways with the help of runways and raceways. <coughs> Here, oxygen enriched air, auxiliary, uh, and this air which is, uh, which is rich in oxygen percentage. The products of the blast furnace can be collected in the earth zone, that is, molten iron and molten slag. That is called as molten oxide and molten metal. Here in this picture, you can find out the stoves, how the stoves are assembled. Here you will find out the checker brickwork and the output of, output of the treated blast of A. Then the how does the air enters into the blast from that direction you can find out. And these are the uptakes and um, copper charge hoisting uh, charge uh, from this copper we are going to charge into the blast furnace. Here you will find the chute, revolving chute. Through the revolving chute, iron ore, limestone and coke is charged into the blast furnace. When the, it is, blast furnace works on the counter current principle. Where down coming raw materials are reduced, reacts from the upward direction of the gases. Raw material reaction iron convert the gases to gas react about modern blast furnace. A modern blast furnace is 30 meter tall blast furnace with welded steel plate construction, which is in circular cross section of varying sizes at different zones. This is welded steel plate construction. In the, under, the blast furnace is constructed with the help of welded steel plate construction. Steel plate in the weld money construct model. Here inside you will find the uh, you will find the will mail gade. water cooling facility. This is outer shell welded steel plate construction. This is inner lining, uh, refractory lining. And here you will find the water cooling facilities. Okay. Then here you will find out the stack line and this up to here it is stack line and belly we will know now. above this we will find out the metal and column, Bosch zone, to your zone, earth zone and this is the foundation. Okay. Here it is the earth zone, the downwards we will find out the foundation. The modern glass furnace it is 30 meter tall. If we say in the form of feet it is 100 feet tall height. It is welded steel plate construction with circular cross section of varying sizes at different levels. The structure of the blast furnace consists of foundation, earth, bosch, mantle and column above the building will find out, stag zone, raw material uh, handling, raw material charging and handling system can be done. Here. Then the uptake, uptakes at the top you will find out in the previous picture. Then downcomer, through the downcomer, exhaust gases will be the four uptakes 
connected to the single pipe is called as dump pump. Next, we will find out principles of blast furnace operation. How does this blast furnace works? The blast furnace is works on the principle of counter current reaction. The blast furnace works on the principle of counter current reaction. So, raw material, raw gases, reaction molten metal So, it is a counter current reaction. Okay. Here, you will find out the picture. The gases are in, going in upward direction. The raw materials are burden descends downward direction. With this temperature, the iron oxide is reduced to iron. Here you will find out the different, uh, so in different zones, how does the reaction cell takes place? What will be the condition of the raw material? Coke gasifies in different appears and creates a wide ages and the over consume coke creates wide ages. Means permeability. If we maintain the proper permeability, the gases will move in the upper direction. So here you find gases are moving in upward direction. The burden is more descending in the downward direction. Two to two years, we have to inject a blast of A. So in this slide, we will find out what will be the condition of the raw materials in different temperature zones. So at the top, at the start line, I was told you it, uh, at the starting stage it will be Fe2OP and it will descend to the downwards uh, bottom of the start line. There you will find the iron oxide is reduced to Fe3O4. Then when it will move to the metal and column at the lee side, it, it has been converted into oostite. In front of the, in the Bosch zone, all the iron oxide reacts with coke directly to form iron. Uh, iron. Here it will find out at the two year zone uh, at that portion, all the iron oxide reacts with carbon of coke directly to form iron. After production of iron, here below the uh, two year zone, above the earth zone, coke bed is to be formed. The, from there, molten metal and molten oxide percolates and collected here in the earth as a molten oxide and molten metal slag and Molten metal, big iron, I collect that. Through the two years, we are going to tap the products of the blast furnace, that is slag and molten metal. Multiple choice questions. Modern blast furnace plant consists of hot plus supply equipment, gas cleaning system, and gas storage, raw material storage and handling system. All of the above. Previously in the session, we have been discussed the modern blast furnace unit. If blast furnace to the unit near the hot blast supply unit, andre stove in the through the stoves, the pre blast of air is injected into the blast furnace. That is hot blast supply. That is stoves. Gas cleaning system. I have shown you uh, the sketcher. Scrubber and ESP. Other lane agate, coast cleaning, semi fine cleaning, fine cleaning agate. So that is gas cleaning system. It is one of the ancillary unit of the blast furnace. Then raw material storage and handling system. Side only raw material in the charge model, store model, all the process of paper. So all the answer is all of the above. Answer is all of the above. Modern blast furnace is nearly 30 meter. Means uh, 100 feet height, tall welded steel plate construction of metal. The construction of welded steel plate. Of, from what metal does it has been constructed? Welded steel, welded plate construction of metal, steel, copper, cast iron, or aluminum. It is actually welded steel plate. It is welded steel plate construction. Copper may not be used. Cast iron it is not used. It is, can be used as a bedding. And aluminum it is not at all used in furnace construction. So it is welded steel plate construction. The third question is structure of the furnace essentially consists of earth, bush, metal and column, this tank, raw material, hauling and charging facilities, top, uptakes, down cover, and all of the above. So the structure of the furnace essentially consists of everything uh, since from the uh, 
proper of the furnace if we find out it contains earth we will find out the different zones bosch and mantle like column and stack zone then raw material handling system it is one of the ancillary unit dates should be needed and the charge hosting facilities and uh, uptakes down comer everything so answer is all of the above thank you i thank mr gauri shankar hiramad principal of city and political college myself subject expert and content developer shrimati k rajesh kesh metallurgy department lecturer sanjeevan polytechnic bollywood